Well, I would say that was a pretty useful trip. Look at this entirely new squad I've gotten. Obviously not the final group, but certainly some candidates. Now let's actually progress in the story. <gasps> it's her. She's so tiny. I can deny it no longer. I am small. All right, well, here's the statue, and it just looks like a Dialga. Or no, its legs are definitely Palkia's. Yeah, that's that's just not as cool as the original 2D sprite, which years ago I made an image showing that the sprite in the original games could look like Dialga or Palkia, depending on how you, like, colored it. And that is just, like, a weird conglomeration of the two. All right, let's, uh, what do we got? Oh, the, the grass is different. That's cool. Oh. Disgusting! Mount Coronet. This is the part of Mount Coronet where I can't really do much, but I can at least see what Pokemon are here. I'm assuming Bronzor. Or, or Zubat. Zubat's probably here too. Because it's a cave. Okay, just out of curiosity, I decided to look at the other two Gligars I caught. Why are their movesets so different? And neither of these know wing attack. While mine, the one I am using, does. Yeah, I'm looking at the Cerebi page for its standard level up. Wing attack's not even on here. Nor is counter, nor is metal claw, but they're all egg moves. Underground Pokemon can be caught with egg moves. That's cool. And means I definitely got the best of the three because having a stab attack immediately is awesome. Well, time to take on the grass, Jim. Because even if my Gligar ends up fainting, Munferno will just destroy it. <laughs> I do want to fight the gym trainer so if I can find him. Also, what is this? Where's the flower clock? Am I just that used to platinum that I don't remember the diamond and pearl gym puzzles at all? Are there no gym trainers? Oh, hey, there's someone. Oh yeah. Okay, I just have to track these trainers down in sequence within the maze and then wing attack them all, which is fun to do. It's a move I like was not guaranteed and I ended up with it. Oh man. Wish I had a hidden ability Gligar, but that's uh can't be too picky when it's a playthrough Pokemon. I think it's cool that the battle arenas inside the gyms have the like arena spotlights all around. I just think that looks cool. Aha! It is I, Grunty Boy! Ah, I knew this day would come. This is what I get for being friends with a criminal. Make it quick! What are you? Oh my god, I am not here to kill you, you imbecile! I'm just here to show you one of my Japanese steel kitchen knives from the sponsor of this video, Kamikoto! Oh, huh. of course, I, I would never think so lowly of you that I'd just assume you'd make the jump from petty theft to murder. <laughs> Anyways, I'm feeling a little embarrassed now, so I'm gonna go back to my game. But don't you want to hear me tell you about Kamikoto knives? Their kitchen knives are made using traditional techniques from Japan and only with steel sourced from Japanese mills. Each knife is individually inspected, and Kamikoto is so confident about the quality of their knives that each one comes with a lifetime guarantee. To sum all that up, they're extremely high quality. That's why their knives are used by several chefs working at Michelin star restaurants. I actually knew all of that since I have some myself. They came in a beautiful heavy duty ashwood box so the knives are stored safely, but also with excellent presentation. I feel like a real chef and I think they'd make for a great gift. I got the vegetable knife, slicing knife, and utility knife. It's kind of funny looking at this current squad of six and seeing a bunch of overlaps, like both Gligar and Scyther are flying type, both Death Stalker and Sandy are bug type. Are you playing the game and talking about Kamikoto knives at the same time? I'm an excellent multitasker, but if all these Pokemon get fully evolved, the only overlap is the poison type on Hemlock and Death Stalker. And that's it. Fair. But how are your knife skills? Pretty decent, but Kamikoto knives make it easy. The single bevel edge allows for extremely sharp edges you can't get with other knives. Their 19 step process clearly makes the difference. You can maintain the sharpness by using one of Kamikoto's sharpening whetstones. Cause you lose your flying type and become steel, and you lose your bug type and become dark. Okay, you get it. I used mine to make some tofu sesame noodles with broccoli last night. The knife felt great in my hand and cut through the tofu and broccoli like butter. A high quality sharp kitchen knife really does make the difference. Oh, and I brought you some leftovers. Oh, wow, thanks, that's so nice of you. Yeah, it makes you feel worse about thinking I was here to kill you, huh? Yes. Good. Anyways, Kamikoto is running a huge sale right now, but you viewers can get an extra $50 off by heading to kamikoto.com slash plays and using code plays. The link is in the description below. All right, Gardenia. Wow, you really are obsessed with that game. I guess that does it for me. Ta-ta! It's time for me to take you on, you and your cargo shorts and coconut head. <laughs> 
to Ruby first. You should be no problem. Wing attack! Haha, -ha, I was correct. Because you are a Cherubi. You, I am not sure I Oko. Because you have defense. Oh, ha! <laughs> not enough, though. Oh, I get a level. Nice. Finally, the Rose Raid. It's not the end yet. Oh, but it is. Wing attack. You're faster. That's neutral. I don't think I'm very heavy. Oh! This has to Oko or else we go down. Okay, well, cow a bummer. Are you saying something? You think you're... Okay, all right. Admittedly, I did trash talk a bit. You know what? It's fine. Your next attack's gonna miss and this wing attack's gonna KO. Never mind. It's fine. See? I could have healed, but I'm doing this in a fair way. This is a 3v3 battle, ma'am, and I'm sending in just my second. Howler seems like it wants to be petted. What are you talking about, dude? We're in the middle of battle. How, is that affection? How did affection start happening? Anyways, it doesn't matter, we won. I was trying, I was gonna try to avoid affection because I didn't want like unfair advantages, but that may be unavoidable. Wow, she's so happy for me. <laughs> oh, you're a good sport, coconut lady. Aw, oh, yeah. I obtained the sticker that Gardenia uses. Oh, I didn't pay attention to her ball capsule openings. Grass nut. Good move. It was a good move. Oh man, I just noticed my Scyther's nature is garbage. Oh well, I'm, pr I'm probably not gonna use Scizor in the end. I think I'm just gonna keep it around for false swiping because that's pretty useful. I could use a Magnet Zone. I don't know where to find Magnemite though. I didn't see that in any of the hideaways I saw. I have to check a different segment of the underground. All right, now I can bust into this building. And I keep seeing these Galactic Grunts use Wurmple and thinking to myself, man, if I ever do a playthrough as a Team Galactic Grunt, I'm not gonna enjoy myself. <laughs> Gotta use Perugly and Beautify and Dustox. Oy. The top floor. Why isn't it all sparkly on the walls? Anyways, hi, Jupiter. All right, so unfortunately, I have no super effective damage for her skunk tank. Because my only ground type doesn't know a ground type move. It tried to learn Mud Slap, but that might as well not be it knowing a ground type move because Mud Slap is so, 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 so bad. So hopefully neutral damage is enough. Mean looks fine. How insolent. Take a bite of this. Nom nom. Take a bite of victory. Ha 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 ha. Half there. I still got to KO this kind of thing. But now I know acrobatics. Oh, let's go. Oh, devastation is about to rain down. Hurt less than I thought. Definitely thought that was gonna be like at least two thirds. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, 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 what? What? I was actually fine. Okay, that didn't do very much. And now the acrobat. Wait, why are you suddenly faster? Woo! Did we speed tie the first two turns? Oh my gosh. No! <laughs> No experience. The boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon, the ruler of Sinnoh. Okay, sure, honey. Ooh, I'm getting a bike. We get to choose a color. Let's go yellow. One of my channel colors could do blue. I think yellow pops. A shocking yellow, yes, indeed. Also, I'm wearing a helmet. Finally, Pokemon cares about safety. It looks like I'm not getting the Togepi egg. So I wonder where you get it. I mean, it's gotta be in the underground somewhere. Ah, yes, 45, yes. A rare candy, is that it? Oh, nice. I forgot what level it evolved at. <laughs> you could definitely be very useful. Cyclist John, AKA Pokemon 7. What is up, guys? This is John, AKA Pokemon. John, your pants are entirely too tight. Oh, hey, Don. Uh, we'll take the left hand versus Seeker. Oh, I remember this. This lets me rematch trainers, right? Nice. So I've gotten back to Orberg, and I'm wondering, is this far south enough to get into next section of the underground? Yes, it is. Giant cave right here. Sunlit cavern. Oh. Okay, so it's just a really huge grassland. X scissor. Wow, that's an amazing TM. Oh, oh. Oh my God, a fighting statue, right? Is that what that is? A pretty stone box. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, John's gonna be so jealous. I think that makes it so fighting types appear more often. I'm not like super excited about that because like one of my main team members is fighting types. So it's not like there's any fighting types I'm gonna want for my team. There are so many of these spacious ones. This is the most common 
by far, at least I think, a deep sea tooth. What the heck? That's kind of surprising. That's a Huntail evolution item. Is Huntail even available before you get the national decks? A Magnemite, a Magnemite! I talked about potentially wanting to use Magnazone. Hmm? Let's go. I'm gonna call you Flex. Ah, and its nature lowers the attacks that it doesn't use. Pretty cool. Shout out to the Grand Underground for like supplying every Pokemon on my team right now, except my starter. <laughs> Bug Buzz, man, these are some really strong TMs. Oh, another Scyther. Hi, dude, I already have one. You know what, I'll throw a quick ball. You're a, I, I think you're a diamond exclusive. Can give one of you to a friend. You could have considered it. If you live this, congratulations, I'll try and catch you. That only did half? That only did half? Oh! What do you know? You're holding a metal coat? Gyro Ball, don't, don't kill. Oh, you know reversal? Jesus, Jesus, God. This Scyther is clapping my cheeks. Dusk balls probably work down here, right? The whole thing is a cave. You know, I'm just hucking regular Pokeballs until this works. <laughs> oh my God, finally. <laughs> that thing was very mean. For now, I'm calling you Browbeat, cause you, uh, boy, definitely beat me up. I did catch it though, which means I now have to think about whether I would rather make my steel type Magnezone or Scizor. Cause I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna use Scizor. It's, it's very clearly like probably not gonna be easy to get a metal coat. And then I got a Magnemite holding one immediately. So like, I don't know what to expect. I think for now I've decided to go with Magnezone. I think the electric type is gonna be more Excuse you. I think the electric type is gonna be more helpful than the bug type. The problem now is that I have no team members. Well, you are temporary, but I have no stab attacks that are super effective against psychic types. And there's a whole elite four member who does that. So that's something I'm gonna have to figure out eventually. For now, let's poke around Wayward Cave. I gotta say, I like the design decision to have different kinds of tall grass. Like, this isn't grass, it's like bushes. And I just think that's cool. Their secret side of Wayward Cave requires strength. What? Where, since when? Is this another one of those, it's in diamond and pearl things, but it's not in platinum. In platinum, they let you get in here immediately. Ugh. Well, I guess I could check out this side. I'd have to teach something flash though. I don't have to teach flash, but like, I feel like my life will be a lot less bad if I do. You know what, let's just do it. I'm here, I, I, I can, I don't have to go back to the PC, all right? I don't know why Flash is not alongside all the HM moves as like a poke etch thing. Let's roll, let's go find, what was her name? I forgot her name. The little girl with the cadaver. Now there's Zubat. Yeah, no gibble for me, which is fine. I'm not using Garchomp, I'm using Gliscor. There you are, Mira. Oh, I wanted to say Marnie, but then I was like, wait, that's the Arcanine girl. All right, now to fight all the trainers. Later in the void. I have gotten myself lost and I only had two repels in my bag. So I am going a little crazy. Okay, I made it. Woo, I rescued you, Mira. And I don't get a reward? All right, done with that segment until I get strength. Now on to Heart Home City after I stop by the Pokemon Center. <gasps> Wait, look at this. Yoppa. <laughs> All right, through Mount Coronet. Wait, isn't this where we... It is. The guy who's my age, apparently, canonically, 28 or something. Strife has spread because of human spirit. I've always thought this argument is so ridiculous by him. Like, yeah, when it was just nothingness, obviously there was no pain, but there was like no good things either. It was just nothing. <gasps> Route 208. At sunset, it's beautiful. Let's run through here and get to Hard Home first, though. All right, Hard Home City. Who is stopping me? Oh, it's Chad the Baneri, the legend. If you're not already subscribed to my very good friend, Purple Cliff, you should be. But more importantly, if you're not already subscribed to me, you should be subscribed to me. Both channels, you got the main one. But you gotta subscribe to this one, too. Do you give me something? Poffin case, all right. I'm not gonna do contests, at least in this, like, series. I might do them in, like, my free time? <laughs> Can I buy better stuff? Can I buy super repels, please? And great balls? Net balls or something. Nest balls, I mean. Hey, what up, BB? And okay, nothing else. 
No, no gift Eevee, which is fine. I didn't really intend to use an Eeveelution anyways, but that's a little weird. Seems like most of the platinum Pokemon can be found in the underground, but I haven't seen an Eevee at all. What up, Fantina? Excusez-moi, are you entering a super contest show? I should not do a French accent. I meant to say goodbye in French in a previous video and said bonjour. Ah, oh, bonjour! Okay, yeah, so it's like Diamond and Pearl where we come back to fight her. Mom? Mom, what are you doing here? Never spoken to me? An entire secret life of mom. I obtained a tuxedo! Oh, the epitome of formality and style. Oh, wait, Amity Square. We gotta check this out. Aw, oh, my Pachirisu is just... Running off, okay. <laughs> Why are none of my other Pokemon considered cute? All right, well, come on, Monferno. There's a Drift Bloom, a Spooky Plate, an Amulet Coin. Ooh, that's nice. I should give that to someone at once. I can't access my bag. That's fine, I'll do it after. Well, that was it. Ran around for a little bit. <laughs> Oh, that's how you unlock following. Come along, Gligar. We have much to see, much to accomplish. What? Why are you battling me here? I thought you battled me in the gate. Well, I hope I'm ready for this. Okay, this is this is this is not a good battle arena, I will say. But you could put some buildings. All right. I defeated the Starly. There's his Prinplup. I'm gonna go ahead and swap to, let's swap to Flux. I haven't used Flux much yet. Okay, glad I did. That Metal Claw really would have hurt Curlia. Oh, it's faster than me, so Electro Ball's not gonna do anything. I need a different electric move. Oh, okay, that did more than I thought. All right, there we go, got him. All right, Ponyta is an obvious switch. Unfortunately, your boy doesn't have any moves that are super effective against fire. So um, that's not forever. That is not forever. But in the meantime, I just fight fire with fire. Mock punch, Dunzo Funzo. Why oh, swap out against Roselia? No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> you know, I think I'll just toss the Manaphy egg in the party. Why not? Not gonna use it as a team member, but might as well toss it in there. Gligar, you are entirely too slow. <laughs> oh, well, this guy's giving me an egg too. It's a peony, right? If I remember correctly. The next day. Hello, it is the next day and I have Terrible news. Gliscor has been the one Pokemon I've been extremely set on using on my team in this playthrough, but the Razor Fang, the item necessary to evolve Gligar into Gliscor, can only be obtained after you beat the Pokemon League. They put it in the same place they had it in Diamond and Pearl, but it made sense in Diamond and Pearl. You couldn't get Gligar before you beat the League. In Platinum, you could get Gligar before the League, which meant you could find the Razor Fang before the League. But here, where you can find Gligar before the League, they put the Razor Fang after the League. It's frankly an idiotic game design decision that I am furious about, but I will not let this injustice slide. I will not let this obstacle stop me. And I did that by having a friend trade me a Razor Fang. So I'll be evolving stealth into a Glyce score very shortly, but it only works at night, so I'm gonna have to change the time on my switch. And I think that might mess up my honey tree, so I'm gonna check those first. Oh, wait, cool. All right, I, I have a Manaphy now that I'm not going to use. Okay, our first honey tree Pokemon is a Wurmple. Yeah, this is why honey trees suck. You wait six hours and get a Wurmple, literally. <laughs> oh, this one's visibly moving and it's another Wurmple. Why? The next one is, why did it zoom in on my face? Oh, it's another Burmy. Okay, I caught one last night, but you need two for the Pokedex. One male, one female, and I don't remember which one I caught, so I'll just catch it. That was pleasantly easy. Thank you, Burmy. All right, the last one is another worm pull. I hate this mechanic. Oh, hey, this is my first time actually seeing this screen. That looks cool. All right, and now it's nighttime. I give the razor fang to stealth. Look at us two buddies fishing on a pier together. Or a dock, whatever. Goldine for the Pokedex. Yes, yes, it's finally happening. I finally have my Gliscor. Night Slash, yes please. Wait, when does it learn Earthquake? I thought online it said it learned Earthquake as a as an evolution move. Did Cirabi lie to me? Cause Cirabi's information is just wrong, apparently. It says Gliscor doesn't get Night Slash to level 40, but that it gets Earthquake, Sword Stance, and Guillotine as evolution moves. Okay, this website says Night Slash at 27, which is what occurred. Earthquake at 45. It would be nice if I could get another ground move in the interim. Bulldoze. Okay, so it looks like both the TMs for Dig and Bulldoze are further ahead. So no ground moves yet, but we're on our way. All right, I turned my game back today. So now let's see if I can get Spiritomb. Okay, so I think the first thing I do is I interact with this. Yes, Hollowed Tower is written on it. 
And now I have to interact with 32 people, right? Oh, I see blue people on my little map because I'm connected to the internet. This is my first time not doing this by myself. Come back here, person. I keep chasing this person. <laughs> I just want to talk to you. I want spirit to Hello. 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 How do I interact with them? Oh, are they battling? There's someone in the dazzling cave. Can I go talk to them? Found him. Ghastly, ghastly, ghastly. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. How do I interact with you? Oh, maybe this isn't working. It seems other people are having the same struggle as me as to like, how do you actually interact with the people down here? Because I'm walking up to them and pressing A and nothing's happening. Okay, I figured out a little call button. Does this, does this count? Maybe? Does this count? Is this talking? Oh my God, Geo, dude. This is like, why? This is so unclear. Like I can't press A on these people. I got another statue, pretty stone box. Ooh, that's cool. I got a Glade statue. Ooh, I found someone else's secret base. Oh, well, how lovely. A regular NPC that I can press A on no problem, but I can't press A on the other players. All we can do is put these like little calls things, which I don't even know what they do. Oh, well, we've got the special boost now, which I have since learned that also boosts the chance for the statues, right? How have I not found it? Oh, wait. Oh, a spooky statue, a gorgeous stone box. Is this one of those fancy statues? Yeah, it is. That is awesome. It's so frustrating that they're, it's so unclear about what counts as interacting and what doesn't. Whoa, what the heck? Is someone else digging at the same time as me in the same spot? This is crazy. They're not uh, impacting mine at all, but dang. Oh, come on. Are you serious? That's where the statue is? Ugh. Oh, another statue and it's a dragon one. Uh, and I'm not gonna get it. <laughs> well, this has uh, been mostly a waste of time. Maybe, I. that's the thing, I don't know, it's not clear. I don't know, it's just so tough. Like, it's not clear what interacting is. It seems the only thing I could find for sure is that interacting with the NPCs will do it. And that's gonna take a while, so I'm gonna, maybe, maybe Spirit Tooth's just not gonna happen, guys. I don't know. I'm gonna at least wait for people to figure it out more, to figure out, like, how do you do it with, like, other real players, because that makes it a lot faster. This cowboy woman has sent out five bidoofs. Her team was so close to perfection. There was just one more. All right, I finally made it to Salacian Town. After all of the detours with Gliscor and Spiritomb, I'm finally here. Let's check out the Salacian ruins. Top right, top right, lower left, top right. Top right, lower left, top right, lower left. First try. Rare candy, odd incense, mind plate, and a nugget, cash money flow. All right, I wanna check out the tower because actually I want to cut down this tree and get this item. And then I want to check out the tower because I haven't done that. Okay. Hello, youngster Oliver. It is so bright in this tower, which is strange. I feel like I remember it being so dim. Oh, I know you can do it. No, no, I don't. No, no, you are not the Pokemon to fight this thing. <laughs> is there something at the top of this I'm supposed to get? In Platinum, I feel like it was like defog. Hello, elders. Technical machines. What's the move? Oh! Okay, I'm glad I came up here. You've forgotten which gem, all right. It's so interesting going through these Sinnoh routes that have cut trees everywhere. That in the past, I would just like, well, guess I'm not accessing that. But now it's just, I have my little wild Bidu friend. And now I think I've successfully made it to Veilstone City. What is this? Metronome style shop? Can I finally change my clothing? Oh, let's go. This music is fire. Oh, some of these are very expensive. <laughs> Pikachu hoodie style overalls. Oh, that's kind of fun. Can't afford it, can't afford it. Kind of cool. I like the headband. I don't much care for the pants. Leather jacket style. Oh yeah, no, I don't like that. I think I'm just gonna go with the platinum style for now. Oh, I look so good. Yes, now I'm playing platinum and all the platinum improvements will be in the game now, right? Right? Oh my God, I can finally buy ultra balls. Bulldoze TM. I think I can get one for free close to here though. You can buy flamethrower and thunderbolt TMs? Oh my God, I might need to do that immediately. Hold on. Okay, so immediately I'm buying thunderbolt and flamethrower for magnezone, for magnezone and infernape because those are great moves and neither of them actually learned them by level up. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get psychic 
Should I? Oh, and Dazzling Gleam. Oh my God. Okay, I'm not buying Dazzling Gleam. Supposedly that's an evolution move for Curlia. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's 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 cheap. It's only three nest balls. Well, that was an incredibly useful trip to the department store. My God. Aha! As a result of battling the gym trainers, Flux is evolving, which means, can I evolve it immediately? But Curlia has almost evolved. Are you kidding me? I was trying to catch this Graveler. Oh my God. Well, at least Curlia should get experience. Yeah! Woo! A fabulous God of War! With Dazzling Gleam, let's go. All right, the third badge. Metatite, oh, I thought she had Metacham. Why, the camera angle is so silly. I don't need to see all of the lights. All of the lights, sorry. Now for Psychic. Oh, what happened to all the lights? All the lights turned off while I used Psychic. <laughs> oh, they're back on. Oh, that was weird. Here it is for Ace Lucario. Oh, cool ball capsule. I am at a distinct disadvantage, but I'm gonna try to beat it anyways. Oh, and a hypnosis missed. All right, well, now I'm screwed. <laughs> yep, now we're just dead. Okay, well, it was a long shot. Why do the lights turn off when the attacks happen? All right, Howler, not in an understanding. Use your new technique, flamethrower. Victory!